Good morning, everybody. It is 8 a.m. right now. I just woke up and my name is Harriet Brown. And today I'm going to be taking you around a day in my life at Foxcroft School. So I'm on the sleeping porch right now. And a lot of you don't know, but Foxcroft has sleeping porches, which means we all sleep together. My roommate's bed is right there and my bed is right here. Um, so yeah, that is really exciting. We all sleep together. There are a lot more beds down there and it's a lot of fun. Um, we always have a really good time together. So I, right now I'm going to get up, get ready, and we're going to go get breakfast with some of my friends. So I'll see you then. Hi everybody. Now that I'm out of bed and, um, dressed, I'm ready to go get my friends for breakfast. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about our dress code. So since I'm a senior, I get to wear a striped pattern shirt on top and then I can wear pattern bottoms as well. But right now I just have on black jeans. And for underclassmen, it you can wear, due to COVID-19, we have um, made our dress code a little bit more lax, which is really, really nice. And you can wear your blue jeans on the bottom, but then you have to wear a solid top on on top. So... It's been a really, really um, interesting year, and I can't wait to show you guys around a little bit of the school. So, Welcome to Foxcroft. Okay, so now that I'm out of my room, I have a mask on because of COVID. Um, so when you're in the dorm, if you're not with your cohort, you do have to have a mask on. And yeah, so that's really exciting. So I'm going down finally to get my friends, and we're going to get breakfast together. So I'll check in with you then. I'm a senior here at Foxcroft and I'm so excited to take you along uh, Thursday with me. Um, right now I just parked, I just, I'm just i a day student so I just drove to school, I went past the front gate and now I'm here in the um, schoolhouse parking lot and I'm going to go to breakfast and then once I'm at breakfast I'll show you everything and tell you my plan for the day. Okay so we're going into the dining hall, I'm about to show you guys the food options that we have in the morning. Okay, so these are the breakfast options that we have in the morning and everything is grab and go because we can't eat in the dining hall. So yay, we're on the senior porch and there's schoolhouse, it looks so pretty. Yay! <laughs> Look who I found on the senior porch. <laughs> I found Betsy, yay! But since she's a day student, she can't sit with us. She has to sit over there, but we're all over here. Woo! Woo! Hi, so for breakfast, I have some Honey Nut Cheerios, a banana, some fruit, and I have my chai tea. So I am happy eating breakfast outside because the weather is really nice today. And my friends are over there. I'm a day student, so I can't eat with them. But we're all, like, we're pretty close. They're over there. So, so it's okay. We're keeping our distance and still being able to talk. Hi, everybody. So I'm back in my room, and that means that I don't have to have a mask on because I'm in my room and I'm by myself right now. My roommate is out sick for this week, so I'm just by myself, so I don't need my mask on. Um, we just got back from breakfast. It was so good. And right now I actually have a free period, and that means that I get to sit and do work. I get to do whatever I need to do during the day to get my homework done. So I'm just going to sit, do some homework, and I'll check in with you guys later. Bye! And right now I am sitting in the senior study balcony. Um, it's on like the third floor of the library and it's only for seniors. Um, and I'm going to show you the view. It's really cool. So this is the senior um, study porch. This is where we got packs and music and work done right here. And then you can see everything in the library. So this is the second floor. All of the day students have carols this year with their names on them because they can't go into the dorm once they move out. So they have all these places you can see from over there. And then they look down like this. They have a stylus staircase. And then they have all the puzzles to sit on there. Um, and if you see right there, I have a little bird in my room because we're all beans and left to left here. Okay, so I am walking on homework and I just started 
that should say what I'm doing for homework. So I have to work on a project for Spanish. Um, it is a um, project talking about the political issues in Spain, talking about how the country functions like politically and geography, so it's quite interesting. Um, and then I have to do a take-home math math test for calculus, and I have a, a test for um, AP Econ to study for. It's kind of the end of the come out before we leave for spring break, so there's a lot of stuff going on, um, but it's all manageable, and I have some time right now to work on everything. Okay, everybody, so I just finished my free, and it is about... 20 I think and now I'm gonna go to schoolhouse and I'm gonna do morning meeting with my advisor so we do that now because of COVID we used to do it in the library but since the regulations are not we're not allowed to be in one building all together we go do it with our advisors in a classroom in schoolhouse so I'll check in with you guys when I get there. Hi right now I'm going down the stairs in the library I'm in the stairwell and I'm gonna go to morning meeting. Um, morning meeting is our time where we all gather together. Right now it's on Zoom, and we talk about like negative announcements. Clubs give us an update on what's going on in their club. Um, and this week is international week, so they'll tell us about what's for lunch and dinner. Hi guys, so I'm with my advisory right now, and we're in morning meeting. So I just wanted to update you. Hi, we're in advisory. We're gonna go to morning meeting. We're in the physics lab, Rebecca. Um, so we're gonna join on the screen right there so we can all see and hear the announcements. Yay! <laughs> you don't have enough time to go and pick up breakfast and then go back to the dorm and then... Hi, so I'm staying in the same seat because I have physics now and it's in the same classroom. <laughs> Hey guys, I just got to technical theater. It's like 11.18 right now, and I'm up in the booth because I'm running the lights right now, and we're working on our spring production. So here's the light set up, as you can see, and then the class is kind of down there. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I'll update you later, and my next thing I have to do is go to lunch. So I'll see you guys then. Hi guys, I just got out of the theater and I'm headed to lunch. I just wanted to update you all. I will see you again when I get my friends with me. Hi, we're walking to lunch. I'm with Julia. Hi guys. We just had AP Physics. Woo. And we built the motor, so that was really cool. And you got to see that. And so now we're, do you know what's for lunch? I think we're going to have Nigerian, and then for dinner we're having Korean. Yay, go International Week. Okay, you guys, we're on the senior porch for lunch. Gracie's with me. And there's Schoolhouse again, so we're going to enjoy our lunch, and then I'll check back with you. This is my lunch. We have rice and some vegetables. Hi, so they had gluten-free brownies at lunch, which was really exciting, and that's good for me because I have celiac disease. So the dining hall is really accommodating. They label everything, and I can see the menu online beforehand, so I always feel safe eating here, and I was really excited to have a brownie today. Hi, guys. Um, so we got back from lunch about 15 minutes ago. I had a little bit of um, relaxation time now. I'm going to head back to schoolhouse to go to my last class of the day, which is English, creative writing. So I'll see you guys there. I'm walking to statistics now and it's so pretty out. We're in stud AP statistics. There's everyone. Yay. <laughs> Hi everybody, just got out of my creative writing class. I'm back in my room. I have another free period, which is the last period of the day. So I will see you guys when I go to sports. This, this is, is the VX. This are we, are we gonna see what it is? Oh, well. <laughs> this is the VX. This is where we get a lot of candy, our snacks, our school merch, our mail. And our packages. <laughs> go the PX. <laughs> Okay, so it's about 3.40. Um, I finished classes for the day. I worked on a little bit of homework in the library. And now I'm walking over to the gym to get changed for sports. Um, during a normal year, day students would have a room. So I would be able to go back to my room and change. But this year, since we can't have people moving in and out of the dorm, too many um, points of like um, connection. So we get changed in the gym. Hi, so I just finished my track workout. What we did was five push-ups, 
10 air squats and then 15 crunches and then we run around around the, around the track and repeat that whole thing three times um a little out of breath but it was a fun practice um and the weather's so nice out you can see it's sunny and i'll show you the turf so here we have soccer they're practicing over there they're just getting a water break this is the turf and then over there we have lacrosse practicing so it's so much fun to see everyone out in the sun um, and the weather's great. It's a nice early spring day. Here's another view of the track. You can see two girls over there playing field hockey and soccer's all the way over there. And then there's lacrosse practicing and there's Mackenzie. Yes. Hi everybody, just got done with softball. Sorry I couldn't show you any of the behind the scenes details, but I will get some dinner shots for you. Um, it is about 5.30ish, um, in about 30 minutes I go grab my friends and we're gonna head to dinner together. It's a really pretty day, so we'll sit on the senior porch and I will see you guys at dinner. Hey guys, while I'm sitting here waiting for dinner, I wanted to tell you guys about an amazing tradition that we have here. It's called Foxhound, and if you come to Foxcroft, you definitely need to check it out. So on the first week that you get here, you'll be chosen either to be a fox or a hound, and um then from there it's all insane like we have three games a year we play field hockey basketball and riding and even if you don't play any of those sports you should definitely get involved and try it out hi so as i said earlier i finished um my track practice um and it's great and it's about five o'clock and so i'm gonna drive home now um and i feel like this year that's pretty typical to end practice around 5 five thirty. Um, and I play field hockey and basketball, and because those like competition sports, even though we can't compete this year, we normally go till about 5.30, but since track, you can't, like, it's kind of hard to, like, run for an hour and a half every single day, so we don't really do that, so we end around 5-ish, and that's pretty normal, um, so I'm gonna drive home, and I guess I thought I'd talk a little bit about what being a day student really means at Foxcroft, um, since you won't see that in Harriet's video, she's a boarder, but I'm a day student, so in a normal year, what that means is that you would stay, when you're a day student, you have a room, you have a roommate, and it's an amazing experience, you stay the first month, you stay on campus, so everyone's on campus, there's no divide between day students and boarders, so if you're a new girl, like, don't worry about, like, not being able to meet friends, because you'll be on campus with everyone else, just like a boarder, then you'll go home for the first after the first five weeks um, and then you'll go back and forth and in a normal year you'll go back and forth and be able to stay um, a maximum of two nights a week so you could leave all your stuff in your dorm you don't really have to move out just bring the clothes you need um, and then it's so nice because then if there's like a weekend event you want to go to or you want to stay the night just to have fun with your friends you can um, and then after sports as I mentioned earlier you would go to your room to get dressed you wouldn't go dressed in the gym but this year everything's totally different um, this year uh, right after every single break so when we first got to campus um, we only we got to campus around October so I stayed for a month then then I went back and forth and I totally moved out of dorm. So I'm not allowed in the dorm at all right now because I live at home and that's not safe for the community. So I go back and forth, hence why I changed for sports in the gym. And then um, after uh, winter break, uh, I stayed for a month and I just moved out, I guess, a week and a half ago or something when I moved out of the dorm. Um, and then when like eating meals and stuff like that, I make sure to stay really far away from my friends if we're eating outside. And if the weather's bad, um, I can go into the auditorium and eat there. Um, and I really enjoyed my experience as a day student. And if you live close, uh, it's definitely a great opportunity. But then also being a boarder is so much fun too. Um, can't really like, don't worry about what if you're a day student or a boarder either way you're gonna have a great experience here so i made it home um normally on a typical night i would get home do some homework eat dinner with my family do some more homework or maybe um if it's a wednesday i'll definitely have student council we have that at seven so i'll go to that over zoom um sometimes the activities at seven um or things like that and i'll join those on zoom but if I was in the dorm, I would maybe hang out with friends after dinner. Study hall starts at seven, or study hall starts at eight. But normally I start homework around seven. Um, and study hall goes from eight to nine thirty. I'm um, sure Harriet's are showing you all of that. Um, and then after on Wednesdays, we'd always have a dorm party, which is really exciting. You can get good food on Wednesdays. Um, little late night snack, 
um, and that is so good at an Applegate, the senior dorm. Um, Miss Boswell makes amazing snacks and she always makes sure there's something good and free with me. Hey guys, we're at dinner right now. We're actually in the dining hall. Everybody say hi. Yay. Okay, I'll check back in with you guys during study hall. Hi everybody, we um, just got back from dinner. Study hall is about to start and um, I will see you when I have to go to the in room to get my night meds. So I'll see you guys then. Hi everybody, so study hall is over. Study hall lasts from 8 to 9.30. So now that it is 9.30, it is time for me to go get my night meds. So when I get my night meds, I'm gonna come back here, shower, and then I'll, I'll come say goodnight to you guys when I go to bed. So to close out, I guess, my day um, video, I just wanted to say why I chose Foxcroft and why I loved my experience here. Um, I decided to come in middle school, so I came as a freshman, um, so I decided to come in middle school because I fell in love with the school at the open house. I was able to go in person um, in the middle of the girls, and everyone seemed really motivated and dedicated to their schoolwork, and that is something that I really valued, and I didn't find at my middle school as much so I really appreciated an environment where everyone wanted to learn and we all wanted to grow and I definitely found that at Foxcroft everyone is engaged in their studies but then also like does so much other stuff um because there are so many opportunities um I'll say Foxhound is one of the great ones I have behind me I have this little sign it says even the hounds bet on Betsy so when you're on a big team which is like the team that the so we have little big team and then little team so big team are normally varsity and JV players that sport kind of and then little team are like JV players but then some people who've never played the sport before so it's such a fun competitive environment um but if you're on big team you get a little sign and so like it's hanging in my room because I just have so many fun memories attached with Foxhound um and it means a lot to me but then there also if Foxhound might not be your thing there's so many other opportunities um, we all have to play a sport, um, so like you, uh, instead of having PE class, we have sports, um, but if you're not into sports, too, you can, there's walking every season and there's dance, too, which is cool, um, and then if that, you know, we also have leadership opportunities, like student council, being a dorm leader, you could be class president, a class historian, class historian's a cool job, they, um, make a scrapbook for their class, so when you come back as an alum, um, you can uh, see your scrapbook and have so many fun memories, and the historians are in charge of that. So there's so many opportunities to do so much stuff at Foxcroft, and I just feel like it's super easy to get involved, and, um, if you get involved too, you, like, meet people not in your grade, not class, the people they don't have classes with, um, and then essentially you know the whole school, because it's a really small school, so you learn everyone's names really quick, um, and I really enjoy the community and the environment, I feel as though, a normal year when I could just sit down and have lunch with anyone I feel like I could just sit down and have lunch with anyone and have a good time um and I really value the boarding school aspect even though I'm a day student because um, it gives you a lot of independence and you learn a lot about yourself um some girls freshman year might be the first time they learn how to do laundry which is okay so you if you don't know how to do your own laundry if you come to Foxcroft you will learn that so just like skills and um definitely mature a lot and it's a really valuable experience um and as a senior I really appreciate it and I've kind of been able to reflect and see how much Foxcroft has changed me for the better so I really hope you come to Foxcroft I hope you enjoyed this video um and I I won't see you next year if you come but I would love to hear all about you and the things you do in the newsletters and things like that as I'm gonna be an alum next year so bye have a good day Hi everybody, I just got back from the infirm, got out of the shower and now I'm going to go to bed but I've had the best day spending it with you guys and I cannot wait to hear if you come here next year but it was so good spending the day with you guys. Alright, good night.